Hey everyone, it's Kathy Zilski. Welcome back to my channel and the craft slash dining room. Today I've got a new thing for my YouTube channel and I'm calling them quickies. Quickies. They're short. They're fast. They focus on one thing, mostly one thing. The idea is if you're just looking for one quick idea, I got you. Today's idea, envelope decorating. Do you decorate your envelope? You put all that work into the card, but do you stamp anything onto your envelope? I know the thing is, is that you're pretty sure they're going to get thrown away 100%. Your card, yeah, they might keep it for a week, but that envelope is definitely going. So is it worth the effort to put in? Hmm? I say yes. So my quickie idea for decorating your envelopes is coming up next. And this intro was entirely too long for a quickie, but what are you gonna do? So I recently made a super cute card that I, well, it's already been sent to my best friend. And here's the thing, you get these cards that are great. What about the envelope? I am a fan of decorating envelopes. And to that end, I have designed a brand new stamp set called Sassy Flaps. Sassy Flaps has sassy sentiments. And if you don't know what AF means, I'm not going to say it out loud, just Google it. It's sassy. What can I say? I was raised by sailors. This set I designed is called Good Mail Day. And the idea here, same thing. Just decorate the front of your envelope. This is a little less sassy, but I would argue it is no less fun. Thank you. So I have these stamp sets and all you need are some basics, right? I like to stamp and emboss with white powder on colorful envelopes. Now, all I'm gonna do is design something for the front and stamp it out. I treat this just like a card panel gonna powder it up to remove all the static and oil, ink it up with clear embossing ink, and stamp it down. Now I'm using this new tool that's called a Debbie tool. A woman who watches my channel made this for me and now she and her hubby are making them and selling them on Etsy. You will find that link below under Roy Wilson Woodworking. It's really taking the pressure off my wrists when I stamp. The beauty of this process, of course, just like if I'm stamping a panel, I stamp twice in the same place using my Misty to get a great impression and then just sprinkle on my white embossing powder. So easy to do this, right? And I love the contrast that it creates on the front of the envelope. Cause you know what? Most of us are getting bills, right? And isn't it fun when you get something colorful that also has stamping on the outside? I don't know about you, but when my crafty friends send me cards, I love it. So there's the front. Now we are gonna flip it over and take some elements from Sassy Flaps, line them up on the back, and stamp them down. And at the bottom, I do have from your crafty AF friend. The funny thing is, the person I'm sending this to, she is one of my two best friends, Tara Whitney. She and I used to be scrapbookers together. In fact, the reason I met her, online scrapbook communities in the early 2000s. I've been around people. I'm not, <laughs> not some spring chicken. So I am still her crafty AF friend. She stopped scrapbooking and crafting a while ago. I just went completely ham on it. So there you go. Now we've stamped on the back, we've stamped on the front, and next, I love doing this, I grab an embossing pen and I will write out my recipient's address so that I can also add it with white powder, right? So I can sprinkle on the white powder and then Tara is gonna get the full effect of a completely embossed envelope. Of course, I'm gonna keep her address secret because she is, <laughs> you know, but there you go. A crafty little quickie tip for decorating your envelopes. Kind of fun. We are done and done. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you again next time. Thanks so much for watching today. I would love to have you become a subscriber to my YouTube channel. And if you do subscribe, be sure to hit the gray bell below the video so that you don't miss the next time I post. Here are a couple other videos that you might be interested in watching. Thanks so much and have a great day.